All right, you guys. So today we have on the lift for assembly PDI. We're gonna guys, we're gonna give you guys a quick glimpse on what's involved in setting up the Vitassi Pintora 150 Sport. We just took the cardboard box off that was on it, and this is what it looks like, you guys. We have it on the lift here, and uh, we're gonna start the assembly process. Give you guys a quick glimpse into what's involved on the PDI and assembly. We got Marcus here today. Hey, Marcus. And then we got Adam here today for the assembly. We'll catch you guys uh, on the next clip. Okay, so Marcus started taking off the nuts and the bolts that secure the cage on it, as you guys can see right here. What's that taking off? Phillips, are you using? Uh, these ones are uh, number four hex. Number four hex? Yeah. Okay. So you guys, on this particular case, sometimes they're a Phillips screw, and then other times they are a number four hex. So keep that in mind. Make sure you have the proper tools ready to go. This is for the Vitassi Ventura 150 Sport. Hey, you guys. So we got Marcus and Adam. They're going to remove the top case. They loosen the bolts that secure that on the base. And this is what you guys can expect. It's wrapped up here with plastic and bubble wrap and they're going to remove all that protective covering and remove the parts and the hardware organize it and start with the assembly so this is what you guys can expect when you order one of these online of course go to your local dealer this has been done for you there's huge value in having this done you guys because it's done professionally Okay, you guys can see the bike is a bit naked. They removed all the hardware and the parts, wheels, etc. So this gives you a glimpse into what to expect. What Marcus is doing right now, he's setting the bead on the tires because they do arrive flat, you guys. So you got to put the proper air pressure in that proper air pressure, tire pressure is around as well. And what uh, sometimes you have to do is you have to tighten up the valve inside here, the valve stem. Sometimes those are not tightened and air can come out. Okay, so the wheels, tires here have been inflated to its proper tire pressure. Again, it's marked here on the sidewalls, you guys. It's 5 PSI on the Pintura 150. All right, you guys, so Adam has just emptied that box that was stuffed under the rear of the ATV. You can see the hardware that's included. You have your dust cap, brackets here, reflectors. This is the battery that's included, battery cover. These are the guards, the foot guards here. That's your rear rack on this, and your front bumper. And manual, it looks like here, and paperwork that comes, that's included with uh, the ATV itself. So this is where they're at right now with it. All right, you guys, so this is the next step, giving you guys a glimpse into what's going on here. So they lifted it off the base crate and put it right here on top of this uh, motorcycle dolly. That you guys can have your own setup there at, at your house, but this is what we use. And if you have one of these, they're excellent for this purpose. As you can see, it's nice and steady on there, allows them great access all the way around, 360, to uh, start assembling the Vitassi Pintura 150, you guys. It's the badge plate on it right here in the front. That's what it looks like. Bare bone, practically. Make sure you guys grease your splines here before you put the rear wheels on. Use some red grease or the uh, standard uh, black grease. Nice shocks on here. You can adjust with a spanner. It has also the valve over here for air or nitrogen. You got Zerk fittings over here on the control arms as shown here with these red. Make sure that you uh, check on these here as well and then put these red caps right back on them. So Marcus, what he's doing right now is these are the brackets here that secure the rear fender. He's gonna mount those 
This is what he's uh, using for the other side. So that's what this, these are for you guys. And then this is all your hardware for mounting the rear rack. Uh, this here would be for your front bumper. So uh, Marcus is in the process of installing this rear rack. And what'd you have to do, Marcus, on this one here on the Pintor 150? Okay, on this side over here, if you're taking note that, if you want to get in here real quick, these two bolts are behind the, are behind the exhaust, so you need to remove this bolt in order to hold down the exhaust to get the bolts in. However, you want to make sure you reinstall the exhaust before you tighten these bolts. Otherwise, it's gonna uh, jam up the exhaust. In. Gotcha, so all right, so to, install the rack properly you have to loosen the exhaust muffler drop it down a little bit so you can mount mount it and secure the bolt in there right yeah okay you want to use a hand wrench in order to tighten these two bolts right here to secure the back rack all right so you see these two bolts over here you guys you want to use a uh, hand ratchet there to secure them and adam uh, right now what are you working on adam Finishing up the front. Okay, so you're securing the uh, the hubs? Yeah. Okay, putting in the cotter pins, castle nut cotter pins, you guys. Okay, you guys can see Adam, he's installed the caliper hub, installed the uh, castle nut cotter pins that are required, as well as the, uh, the tie rod, you guys. So keep that in mind. You guys saw it a few minutes before and now you can see it after now he's going to install the front bumper all right we're gonna catch up to see what what adam's doing right now what's up adam so i'm just putting on the uh hardware they're 13 millimeters. Okay, so it comes with a washer, right? And then 13 millimeter? Yes. All right, so you got four studs over there. And he's gonna tighten those up, you guys. Then he'll do the uh, left side over here. So if you're sitting on the ATV, it's the left, and then he's gonna work on the right. What, uh, what are the sizes? Uh, the bolt is gonna be an eight on this, and then the nut is gonna be a 10. Okay, you guys, so while it's on the lift here, it gives me a chance to point out a couple of things over here. This right here is your fuel filter, pressure regulator right here. It's your carburetor, typical, uh, you know, GY6 150 style motor here with your 150 uh, carburetor. That black here, that's your electric choke. So fully automatic with reverse. All right, you guys, so Marcus is getting ready to mount the rear wheels. Again, we always recommend putting on some uh, grease, typical bearing grease, you guys, here on your splines. Definitely for longevity purposes, so make sure you do that, and those wheels definitely uh, are mounted a lot smoother as well. You've got your chain, you see your rear shock over here. Again, this is an adjustable shock as well, and it does have an air feel on the uh, top as well. So, all right, you guys, what was that? You want to keep in mind that your wheels are going to be directional, so you want to make sure you put them on the right side, on the correct side. All right, so Marcus just uh, threw out a, a tip here. The wheels are directional, right? Yes. Okay, so keep that in mind. And where, where would that be marked on the wheel? Um, usually on the wheel. Or is it on the tire tread? Oh, it's on the tire tread right here. You see a rotation arrow here. Okay. That's going to be the direction that the wheel turns. All right, you guys, so when you're doing this at home, keep that in mind. These are directional wheels. Put it on this side. Gotcha. You can also see what the tread pattern is. Yeah. These are little chevron shapes here, you guys. Where are you at? On the other side, just finding some hardware for it. Okay. All right. So you're mounting the other side, the front wheels. So Adam's taking care of the front wheels. Marcus is working on the, the rear right now. Disc brakes all the way around. This is a nice seller, you guys. If you're looking for something like this, it's a great beginner quad. It's a 150. You could be for a uh, larger size rider as well. So fully automatic. It does have a speed limiter, throttle limiter on it, but these do not include a parental shutoff remote. 
or a lanyard because they're considered youth slash adult ATVs. The Potassi Pintura 150 Sport. Okay, automatic. so Marcus installed the uh, rear wheel. What'd you do here, Marcus, so far? Okay, so with this, you're gonna need three parts or four parts. You're gonna have a washer, a gold cap, and then your uh, block, your castle? Your yeah, your castle nut, uh -huh. and a pin. Cotter pin, okay. And Cotter pin. What is, what is this here for? What's the order that these go in? It goes, like imagine this is the uh, uh, axle right there. You put that on, then the gold nut, or the gold cap and this goes in here you drill it on there's going to be a hole in here which you want to line up with here or put a cotter pin slide slide the cotter pin through and not and then lock the cotter pin in place okay all right make sure you guys don't forget that cotter pin lock it in place properly okay so this piece right here you guys so this is important to have on if you want to use your your dust caps over here so make sure that uh if you decide to use this this is going to be the secure like marcus is doing right now is uh, installing that dust cap. Just pops right in there, a little suction on there, and it fits right into place. All right, you guys, here's another glimpse. It's slowly coming together on the Pintura 150 Sport. As shown. Come on, come on. I, uh, I noticed that you installed those reflectors. Uh, yeah, I put these ones on. There's two of them. It's a 10 millimeter. And there's going to be two holes here. But uh, because the reflector has a holding nub that you want to put in there. Okay, you guys. All right, so Marcus, what are you working on right now? I'm putting on the uh, back footrest. Okay, so the uh, heel foot guard? Yeah. All right. I'm going to want to put a nut right in here. Again, that's, uh, I believe that's going to be a 10 millimeter. Okay. You're going to want to take these off so you can slide these onto here then reinstall the nuts on there. Gotcha. So it's going to be a little bit of stretching on this too, I notice sometimes. Yeah, it's there is. Stretching it's, out. It's going to be a bit of a So butt. it's not going to be just be a, a plug and play on those, you guys. You're going to have to stretch it out a little bit. Tighten one end, tighten the next end. So you're gonna have to feel it out according to uh, your positioning and how you set it up. So you have to tighten one nut and then tighten perhaps the top nuts and then the lower nuts. So it just goes combination back and forth. Keep that in mind. All right, so once the foot guards are installed, you guys, we got the handlebars up, as you can see. Adam uh, installed the risers, installing the handlebars here. So we're getting close to the finished product. Got your uh, battery box here. Looks like uh, your solenoid relay. This is your fuse holder right here. We're gonna install the battery, which the battery is yellow. It's a brand new style of battery we noticed here. They're usually a different the brand. It's a new brand for us. And then of course you got this nice netting over here, which is, I like this, you guys. It's solid metal with a nice, foot peg full size foot peg over there so what they're doing you guys is they install the battery but then you have your solenoid relay that's the way the manufacturer sets this up here with your fuse carrier over here so they're setting it up so it'll be placed right in here nicely securely right next to the battery that's just the way it comes on the potassium 150 so you've got to find a little home here for it and uh, park these uh, these components right next to the battery all right you guys so welcome back so you saw the before now this is the after it's completed 100 percent we got it started up we recommend using uh, 91 gasoline let it idle for a bit when a uh, Give you guys a pointer over here on the idle screw you guys so there's a little cap on the idle screw and the all come cap you guys you just got to pull it up vertically and that'll remove it just use a plier to pull up this cap and it, it'll expose the uh, idle screw and you can make your fine adjustments as needed so this is the final touches you guys make sure that you go through it 
100%. Check your oil, tire pressure is 10 PSI. Oh no, these are what, five PSI? Yes. All right, so tire pressure is five PSI on the Pintura 150. Some of them are 10 PSI on other models, but keep that in mind. Okay, this is the Pintura 150, giving you guys a glimpse of what to expect when you order one online. I always recommend going to your local dealer to purchase these. They're all professionally set up, tested, and tuned and ready to go but those of you that do purchase these this is what you can expect hope all is well like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one